Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Buenas noches, ¿cómo están? Bien, bien, ¿y usted? Bien, bien, bien. Gusto de saludarles, Buenas gusto de, de verles. Es un placer estar acá. Creo que nos faltan todavía dos minutitos. Vamos a ver cuántos hay. Diez participantes. ¿Ya listos? Listo, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Bien, yes, teacher. good, excellent, excellent. <laughs> Vamos. Excellent, excellent. Bien, son las ocho en punto. Vamos a dar inicio a nuestra clase, a nuestro trabajo del primer día. Así es que les voy a presentar algunas, algunas cositas que pues, es, es, son personales, mi currículum, mi quehacer educativo, el tiempo que tengo y luego pues eh, vamos a... Eh, vamos a, a, a trabajar en la primera unidad. Okay. Creo que ven por ahí mi presentación. Bien, ya casi tenemos. Si me apagan los micrófonos, por favor. Eh, ya vamos a hablar de los lineamientos del trabajo, eh, cómo vamos a trabajar para eh, eh, ok, gracias cómo vamos a trabajar en nuestra primera eh, en nuestra en, en nuestra primera clase bien, lo que se, se trata de mi persona, eh, mi nombre es eh, Mr. José Fidencio López eh, es un título que se eh, da eh, a los que trabajamos en el idioma inglés. Eh, pues no licenciado, ni docente, ni instructor. Eh, siempre me pongo como Mr. José Fidencio López. Eh, algunas, al, al, en primer lugar, voy a hablar un poquito de, brevemente de mi formación académica. Pues eh, ya pues soy docente de profesión en un segundo idioma, como lo es este idioma tan bonito que es el idioma inglés. Eh, ya uh, pues ya bastantes años luego eh, tengo cursos y diplomados uno como aprendizaje basado en competencias que este es prácticamente lo que es la evaluación y todo eso pero tengo muchos cursos en los relacionados eh, con el idioma inglés directamente eh, cursos y diplomados de muchísimas horas bueno como ven es eh, soy nativo del, del español, eh, pues esa es mi lengua materna, nacido en El Salvador, y, y pues hablo inglés avanzado, un nivel de inglés avanzado. Esa es la preparación académica que tengo. En cuanto a los cursos y, y diplomados que tengo, pues eh, eh, son varios, ya son bastantes, puesto que ya llevo muchos años en este, en este, en este servicio. Mi experiencia laboral, tengo más de 20 años, eh, incluso más de 25 años, eh, como facilitador o docente del idioma inglés, dentro de los cuales pues, o, eh, ocupé en un colegio de prestigio como 15, eh, 15 años, estuve como coordinador del departamento de inglés. Esto me dio, pues, un, 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 me abrió una puerta para la preparación académica y trabajar en el idioma inglés eh, eh, de manera internacional, 
Por eso es que muchos de mis diplomados y, y títulos o diplomas son de, de internacionales. Eh, eh, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta. No, teacher. teacher. No, teacher, okay. estamos bien. Gracias. Ok. Bien. Las evaluaciones y las tareas, creo que ustedes ya están familiarizados con la, la plataforma. Aparecen ahí en la plataforma y pues es necesario que las vayamos desarrollando a medida vayamos avanzando. Pero si alguien, alguien quiere este, pues adelantar, no hay ningún problema. Bien, en primer lugar tenemos que es necesario el 80% en promedio de las tareas. O sea que usted tiene que detener al final de los ejercicios, de las tareas, del midterm y del examen final, eh, tiene que tener 80, tiene que tener un 8 eh, de promedio para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Eh, para mí, pues ya lo tiene, ¿verdad? Solo se trata de irlo trabajando y, y ir cumpliendo con los quehaceres. Las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma y se recomienda trabajar en ellas justo después de cada clase. Si vemos el tema, si vemos el tema, puede, eh, just, eh, si vemos, si usted ve que vemos el tema que está en la plataforma, que la ha ido viendo, qué tareas tienen para, uh, con los temas que vamos a ir desarrollando, eh, se recomienda trabajarlos después de cada clase. Pero usted puede adelantar el contenido si así lo desea. Ahí hay ejercicios, está el objetivo, está un video explicativo y luego encontrará lo que es, lo que es este, la lo que es la tarea el, o, o, lo, o lo, el ejercicio a realizar. Eh, todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completos eh, antes de cada viernes o a medianoche, ya que esto se es registrado y enviado a Insafor semanalmente. O sea, para que las personas encargadas de, de, de este proceso, de la parte logística, la envíen, deben de estar completo y usted no pierda eh, su, uh, su tarea, su nota. Entonces, es importante eso, tomarlo en cuenta. Eh, una de las cosas que se requiere para aprender un idioma o cualquier idioma, cualquier idioma es mucha disciplina. Así como un deporte requiere para poder cumplir la meta del objetivo, que requiere mucha disciplina, lo mismo es el idioma inglés. El material de apoyo es compartido con usted. A criterio, bueno, en algunos casos, cuando hay algunas actividades que yo necesite, le voy a compartir materi extra material de apoyo a través, del, a través de, de Zoom para que podamos trabajarlo. También ustedes tienen en la plataforma, tienen el manual de, que van a llevar desarrollando y que vamos a ir trabajando a medida de eso. Entonces... Las, uh, las uh, eh, tareas y evaluaciones tenemos en la semana 1. En la semana 1 son dos secciones las que tenemos que cumplir. Estas dos secciones tienen ejercicio que hacer, los que se van a... El, y, y al terminar usted lo debe de enviar. La semana 1 va de este lunes al jueves próximo y eh, la semana 2 uh, desarrollamos la sección 3 y al final de esta hay un midterm. O sea, un pequeño, un, un pequeño examen eh, que cubre las, eh, las, le, las unidades 1, 2 y 3. En la semana 3 trabajaremos la sección 4, que, eh, que es la unidad 4 eh, del manual que tienen ustedes ahí. Es, aquí están como secciones, pero eh, si ya tienen el manual, si ya tienen el manual, van a ver que son unidades las que tenemos. Y en la semana 4 trabajaremos la última, que es la 5, y al término de esta, de, este, de esta sección habrá un examen final. El examen final, vamos a ver, dependiendo del tiempo, si ustedes lo pueden hacer antes o antes de terminar, o lo pueden hacer inmediatamente terminando el, el programa lo que tenemos asignado para, la, para este, estas fechas, que son cuatro semanas eh, cabales. Todas las semanas van de lunes a jueves de en este mismo horario de 8 a 9 de la noche. Eh, ¿Preguntas?
Todo bien. Bien. Todo claro. Ok, ya decía que la, la, bueno, la eh, política de asistencia. Es importante, eh, es importante pues, que asistamos a las clases. A, eh, aquí dice al 80%, pero si podemos asistir al 100%, sería fantástico. Recuerden que, recuerde que eh, eh, es un inglés ya un poquito avanzado. Es, es, es avanzado, entonces sí hay que cumplir con más del 80% si le es posible. Ah, el avance y desarrollo de la plataforma de aprendizaje. Esta, como dije, eh, tiene que hacer las clases, tiene que hacer los ejercicios inmediatamente después de la clase. Y si, eh, si usted tiene tiempo en, en un horario diferido, pues eh, él lo puede hacer también pero eh, pues lo, los temas y contenidos están relacionados a lo que vayamos viendo en, la, en, en las clases. Eh, la plataforma, decía, tiene el objetivo, un video explicativo y luego tiene la tarea uh, o los ejercicios que van a realizar. Algunas con cinco preguntas, algunas otras con tres preguntas. Eh, varía el número de preguntas para cada uno de ellos. El inicio de las clases es importante que estemos puntual. Eh, estamos 25 participantes ahorita eh, eh, que estemos puntual y pues nos vamos a ir puntual eh, posiblemente un minutito o dos minutitos antes de que sean las nueve de la noche eh, eh, para cerrar el, el curso los horarios establecidos ya ustedes los conocen perfectamente de 8 de a 9 y luego tenemos, que ya lo mencionaba, que es importante tener encendida la cámara. Puesto que así nos estamos viendo y eh, nos estamos viendo y, y el, hay una interacción más familiarizada que teniendo las cámaras apagadas. O sea, si me ven la cara, yo les veo la cara. Pues ya que Zoom, cuando usted habla o dice algo, pues este, eh, dice algo... Eh, dice algo, este, es, la plática se vuelve más familiar, no es eh, tan desconocido. La duración de, eh, de la clase es de 60 minutos. Eh, eh, si tenemos 16 días, van a ser 16 horas en total del trabajo que vamos a realizar para cumplir con lo, lo aprendido o el aprendizaje. Uh, los ejercicios, ya lo decía, están en plataforma eh, y si cumplimos los requerimientos mínimos que quieren, el programa o la asistencia, pues eh, al final vamos a, a obtener un diploma. Ustedes obtendrán un diploma de promovido este curso. Entonces, de esa manera es que vamos a trabajar. ¿Preguntas? ¿Todo bien? bien? Todo bien, teacher. Ok. No questions, no questions. No questions over there. That's good. <laughs> ok. But please talk to me. I, I don't like to talk to um, myself sometimes. No, you're, I'm talking to you, but this is only regulations. Solo son regulaciones de la, de, de la asistencia y todo. Bien, ya lo mencionaba, es eh, tener cámara encendida. Eh, me voy a adelantar un poquito al aéreo y pues el botón de silencio. Esto para que no haya interferencia cuando yo hablo o alguien de ustedes hable. Entonces, eh, solo encender el, el, el micrófono, el micrófono eh, al momento de su participación, si está fuera de manera verbal. Que, eh, a, que este día vamos a trabajar en participación en la producción del idioma. Ok. Eh, vamos a hacerlo que pues que algunos me participan, encienden su micrófono y dicen algo o dan alguna sugerencia o, o alguna expresión y la otra va a ser a través del chat. Esa es la producción del idioma. El idioma se produce de dos maneras, una de manera verbal y otra de manera escrita, porque la, el reading y el listening son in, van para adentro y esa va para afuera. Entonces, eh, es, pues es importante tener el, el micrófono um, en silencio. Eh, la lista pues, de asistencia la vamos a pasar. Eh, me solicitaron que la pasara. Yo la voy a pasar en diferentes momentos. 
eh, en algún momento, puede ser que sea al medio de la clase, algo otra, en otro momento sea al final de la clase o, o, a, o al inicio de la clase misma. Es importante, veo que sí, tienen sus nombres completos y eso es muy importante. Tener sus nombres completos a ver si los voy identificando eh, a cada uno de ustedes. Eh, veo que ya todos lo tienen. Eh, sí. Ajá. Todos lo tienen. Bien. Eh, cámara encendida, decía, para que pues nos veamos y la, y la interacción se vuelva más familiar. ¿Mm? Más en confianza, pues sería un término. La participación activa es bien importante. O sea, este día les decía, vamos a trabajar de manera verbal, ustedes dan algo, o a través del chat. Si hay una pregunta, si hay una pregunta de eh, qué se hace o qué hago, y yo les digo, pues, eh, respóndame en el chat. Y usted inmediatamente responde en el chat. Eh, eh, y yo, pues, las que pueda las voy a ir leyendo. Entonces, eh, es importante en el idioma inglés que, eh, que siempre hay que ser objetivo. Siempre hay que decir, sí puedo, ¿ok? No se, puede, no se vale decir, no puedo. Siempre se puedo. O al menos trato y hago un buen eh, 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 esfuerzo para hacerlo, ¿ok? Porque en el idioma inglés eh, sí, siempre me voy a equivocar. Y eso es válido. Eso es válido porque los expertos dicen que si no hay errores, no hay aprendizaje. Entonces, eh, de esa manera es que todos aprenden. Uso del chat, bien importante, ya lo decía. Eh, eh, para levantar. Si levantar la mano cada vez que quiera hablar o quiera a decir algo, es importante levantarla, ¿ok? Para que pues eh, todos eh, veamos, espero poderla ver acá, para que todos mantengamos. Y siempre mantener el respeto, siempre mantener el respeto eh, en lo que se dice y en lo que se hace. Es sumamente importante esa es situación. Bien, ya decía, cámara encendida, uso de auriculares para evitar interferencias y es bien importante la vestimenta. Pues vestir adecuadamente, en, um, eh, aunque estamos en línea, sé que muchos ya lo, nos queremos ir a la cama o que ya casi queremos estar listos, pero pues hay que vestir adecuadamente para pues respetarlos. La... Respe... Haciendo respeto para todos. Eh, ¿Preguntas hasta aquí? ¿Perdón? No sé si le escucho mal o, o qué. Uh, uh, could you please uh, write that in the chat because I can't understand because uh, something is breaking. Uh, okay. Uh, please. I don't know if it's me or or. Uh... Not teacher, it's the same for all of the class. Huh? No worries. The same for all of the class. For at least his connection. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. He says. Um, let's see you again in the testing. Ah. Ah. Oh, I see. You were testing your microphone, okay? So, okay, thank you very much. So if you uh, do not have any further questions, so can we go back to the class? Okay. Okay, ready? I'm ready. Okay, okay. Yes. Let's go. Okay. 
Okay, we are the let me let me let me share the Okay, we are on formación para el idioma inglés, right? Preavanzado 2. Am I correct? Yes. Okay, from 8 to 9 p.m. My name, as I said, it was as Mr. Jose Fidencio Lopez, and today's day. Okay. So we are going to go on unit uh, on unit uh six. Is that the uh, your material says? What's wrong with it? Your manual? Giovanni, do you have your manual available over there? Uh, just give me a second. Actually, I'm looking for it. Please oh, bear with me. Okay. Uh, does anybody have it? Yes, Mr. Is that the unit? What's wrong with it? Oh, so <laughs> we are on the same, same scene then? Yes. Okay. Okay, guys, so what's wrong with it? Uh, when you see this, this thing, this kind of question, what comes to your mind? What comes to your mind? Maybe this, there is a problem with something we have. Uh, okay, maybe there is a problem with something. Good, excellent. Thank you, Xiomara. Uh, does anybody else have another opinion? Another? Uh huh. I think that it's a uh, about job. Uh huh. I think that it's a bad job. Ah, a bad job. Okay. So thank you, Daniel. You know, anything that you say, I'm not checking you if the, your answer or your uh, or your sentence is okay or not. What I want you, I'm checking you that you uh, uh, talk to me, you produce the language. Okay, uh, someone else? Uh, one or more, uh, but quickly. Teacher, for me, it's when uh, people have a question for another people. Okay. Uh, for example, when, when I say, what do you do? Or how are uh -huh. you? Ah, Maybe. okay. Okay, uh, who am I talking to? Who, who am I talking to? I didn't see your name. Uh, my name is Hector. Ah, ah, okay, thank you very much, Hector. Yes, uh, sometimes when you talk to someone, you say, hey, what's wrong with it? Or what's wrong with that, okay? So maybe it is a problem or it's something that it, uh, you get over. it. Okay, so thank you very much, guys, for your participation. And what about the rest? Can you can you say something on the chat? Can you write your uh, the rest I didn't say? Uh, well, you're going to say in the chat. What do you think of it? Uh, help me with the microphones. Remember. Teacher, uh -huh. maybe when you ask for an opinion about something. Or... Okay. Yeah. Okay. When you ask about opinion on someone, when someone seems sad. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, say someone. Okay, guys. So remember that anything that you say, it's, it's okay. Okay. I'm not checking if the answers are wrong and correct. Okay. The learning objective over here is uh, Marlene. What is the learning objective that we have in, in the snapshot? Learning objective, discuss common complaints. Uh, common complaints. And what do you complain about it, uh, Francisco?
Hi, teacher. Ajá. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello. Some common complaint. Uh, restaurant, food stores, cleaners, doctors. Okay. Landlords, taxes. Okay. Landlords and tax. Okay. So, uh, what do you complain about restaurants? Uh, what kind of complaints do you, if you go to a restaurant to have dinner or, or lunch or something, what do you complain about in a restaurant? Answers in the chat, please. On, on the chat. Ah, okay. But if you cannot turn the uh, uh, microphone on, you can you can always say it on the chat, okay? What do you complain on the restaurants? Hey guys, give me an answer on the chat. A word, Teacher. a phrase. Yes. Hey, hey, it's my opinion when some complaints, common complaints on the restaurant is when when the client when the the waiter uh, drop drop oh the 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 food the on food. the client yeah okay has happened that to you have you ever been in a, this situation yes teacher when i work i i work in a restaurant oh in the past i have a problem with a client Player, oh, when player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. it's 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 really bad, but so people complain about it. But uh, you know, they complains about it in a restaurant. So someone says, "I don't know why I can." Oh, uh, in a restaurant, it's really LS level, uh huh, amphitheon, and the food is not uh, well uh, well prepared. The food it was not, yeah, that's one of the thing. It's it's um. It's, it's not very well prepared. Okay, the time is to serve the food. Ah, sometimes the waiters or the people who serve the food take too long and you're waiting and waiting. Yes, that's too, that's good. Okay, uh, anybody else? Teacher. Yes? Hey. yes. I just hear when people complain about a dish when it's cold. Oh, a dish when it's cold. Yeah, you ask for the food. You ask for the food, it takes to land, and then the, the food or the dish is cold. Uh, yes, it's it's complaining. Who am I talking to? My name is Carla. Oh, thank you, Carla. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, so about complaints, about in a restaurant complaints, you have this one. Food is undercooked. Food is not well cooked. So it's not well prepared, like, like you said. And what about food stores? What do you complain about supermarkets or or, or some things? Maybe the product are expired. Okay, the product are expired. Okay, good. That's one, one of the most most uh, common complaints that we have over there. Uh, product Teacher. are expired. Yes. Maybe when the waiter does not have good way of serving the customer, oh. or when, when some people of the store don't have a good way to serve in the, the good. Food. Okay, good, excellent. That happened, Oscar Cordero. Um, you want to say something? Oh, see, uh, yes, uh, for example, when uh, they have they haven't labeled. Uh, the product uh, with the correct uh, price. Oh yeah, and that's a that's a very common. That's you know the supermarkets. It happens uh, to to everybody, I guess. Uh, 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 it says uh, on sale. It, the The main price is ten dollars for saying something, and then they say on sale six dollars. But you go there to the cashier. And they say, no, this is $10. And you say, but you, the label over there says $6. That's a very, very common complaint, isn't it? Or is not? Yes, yes, it's happy. What about cleaners? Yes, 
What about cleaners, uh, dry cleaners, or people who cleans? Dry cleaners. Maybe when we go to pick the cloth, uh, they have lost some cloth. Uh, um, yeah. I <laughs> No, that's a, that's all right. That's all right. Yeah, when you look for go and pick up your clothes, and then they cannot find it, so they we have meet... some some clothes. Uh huh. Finish your idea. Okay. So, uh, who am I talking to? Okay, guys. So on the cleaners. On cleaner, say the dry cleaner uh, trims your favorite sweater. Means make it bigger. Okay, what about doctors? What are complaints about doctors? <laughs> Write it in the in the chat, please. I don't understand the the uh, letter when the doctors uh, give me the almost how the how I can say reset. Prescription, doctor's prescription. Okay, when uh, the doctor gave me the description, I don't understand the reading. Oh, okay, because of the handwriting. Okay, you should see mine. <laughs> okay, and uh, Sophia says also that a uh, close about is staining, and you maybe take it over there and you stain it. And medicine is not the correct one. Yes, uh -huh. that's... that's uh, that's uh, something a very common complaint at the doctors. Uh, uh, let's see what it says over there and uh, and the complaint that we have over here. Oops, no. And the complaint that we have wait too long time for doctor's appointment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is that happen over here? Is that yes, in the public, the public uh, <laughs> clinic. Yeah, and the public clinic uh, takes uh, too long, a and sometimes even months or weeks. Like, like the is also yes. in private teacher. Huh? Also in private, private. Yes, uh, yes, for... it happen It happens over there. Okay. It depends. You have it to pay. Uh huh. Oh, when you don't get a prescription and the doctor says something, I, even though you had to pay. Yeah, we're not uh, an Oscar Cordero. You raise your hand. Uh, yes, and what about when the doc when you're talking to the doctor and you don't uh, and he's not um uh, how do you say that and he's not uh watching you on your eyes? How do you say oh. that? I mean Yeah, I, they are not staring at you, they don't look at you. Okay. Okay. They, they are not staring at, at the at the patient. I mean but, I mean mm. it's, it's like uh like uh, the doctor does not care about the patient. Yeah, you... they don't look. I uh, they don't look at you. So that's that's okay. the the correct way to say. It. I'm sorry about the first one. It was my mistake. Yeah, they don't look okay. at you. They 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 see somewhere else, but not at you. Uh -huh. It happened to me many times. Okay, guys, uh -huh. we I are. Okay, and long uh, long runs. Uh, the sink is uh, leaking, right? And your landlord uh, won't. Uh, do you know? Do you understand the meaning of landlords? People who own homes and they rent it. Those are the landlord uh, landlords. If I have a house but I don't live over there, so the I will. Proprietario. Yes, I would rent it to someone else. That's a I, and I'll become land, landlord. Daniel, you raise your hand. The owner of the house. The owner of the house, exactly. Daniel, you raise your hand. Okay, guys, the time is running, so. <laughs> Uh, drive taxis. What is the complaint uh, about a taxi? The most okay. common complaint. Richard, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, sorry, because I don't fix my my headset. Oh. Uh, before, 
is the landlord don't want to fix the rent house. Yes, uh, the anything that is broken or is not working properly in the house, it, it, if they fix it, usually it takes long. Okay, and the taxis, uh, the taxi drivers start, uh, charge too much for the beer. That's that's one thing. Okay, now but nowadays, so uh, guys, I have a, a a couple of questions over here. I have. Have you ever had any any of these complaints? Please answer in the chat. Please answer in the chat. Ah, the plum, plumber. That's a plumber. Have you ever had any of these complaints? Tell me uh, where. You say, Mr. Lopez, I have complained at the supermarket about this and that. I have complained about the restaurant and this and that. So please, uh, write it in the chat, guys. You can use praises. Are you writing in the chat? Oh, yes, Mr. Lo. I went to a restaurant and the dish was an undercooked. Yes, I have a complaint in the bank. <laughs> okay, what was the complaint on the bank? In the supermarket, I found product that was expired. Yes, it's very common. Good, and you are using the, the, you are using the chat. That's great, that made me happy. And you are producing the language. Uh-huh. Please, uh, a couple of more. Today I had to wait too much in my doctor's appointment. Yes, about the restaurant I have when the visitor um, bring me the drinks and the beginning when it's supposed to be oh with the meal yes that's another unless you ask you're asking you you ask it uh to bring it right away when you make the order good okay guys so uh oh i have another and i have a lot of complaints i mean uh, in the restaurant i found product that was expired i already read that one Today I had to wait too much for the fan about the restaurant. Wouldn't it? okay? Um, I had complained with my doctor today. The doctor was really slowly, and the little and the little girl had thirty-eight fever. Oh, she was burning. I have complaints. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Thank you very much for for sharing your answers over there. Um, for sharing answers over there. Let's continue with that, with, with the other. Okay, you have, uh, we have over there a uh, Priscilla thing. Please on your handout, if you have a hand the ball, check uh, what would you do in each of these situations. Mr. Lopez, if you're sharing the audio, we're unable to hear it. Uh, are you able to listen uh, to hear the audio? Nope. No, no one. No. Oh. No teacher. No. No okay. teacher. Uh, let me see what. Okay. So you have this perspective over there. Who uh, uh, who can read number one? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. I ordered uh, a jacket from a catalog, but when it arrived, I found the I found the lining was torn. Okay, what would you do in in that in that case? What would people uh, do in that case? Mm. Ask for a refund or ask the company to repair it. 
For me, Mr. Lopez, so, uh -huh. is the last one. Uh, take it back to the store. Uh, no, it's like a catalog. It's uh, ask for a refund or ask the company to repair it. Because you you take it to a a, a, a catalog. Mm -hmm. uh, miss, uh, what's your name? Take uh, it back to the store. Uh, take it back to this uh to the company and repair it. Okay, and who can read number two? Me teacher. Okay. Uh, uh, who answer? Who said me first? Uh, number two and me, uh, teacher number three. Okay. Okay. I bought a new a new table from the store, but when they deliver it, I noticed it that was damaged on the top. On the top. Ask for mm -hmm. an account or ask the store to replace it. Um, I better say ask the store uh, to replace it. Uh huh. Okay, girls. Uh, Miss, I don't, I don't know who. Uh, please raise your hands. Okay. Es que no alcanzo a ver uh, everybody over here. Uh, Miss. Okay, Marlene, uh, number three. A friend sent me a vase for my birthday, but when I, when it arrived, it was cheap. What is the meaning of cheap, teacher? I look for the information over there, and it's a cheap that uh, that uh, you eat. Um, I didn't find a real meaningful over there, but it can say, tell her about it, uh, say nothing, and repair it. Mm. I think it's uh, it's something that is not really good in a good condition. Mm -hmm. I was looking for it and I didn't find it. Tell her about it. Say nothing. Okay, maybe. Giovanni? Okay, tell yeah. her about it. Uh, yeah, number, yeah. Four, number four. Just in addition, regarding to uh, according to cheap, that means a little bit broken. It's like hastiado means in Spanish. Oh, I look at it in uh, in in, um, in English, and it was uh, okay. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Giovanni. Thank you very much. And uh, Giovanni, number four, that you are already. Good. Okay. I took some pants to the cleaners, and when they came back, they had a stain on them. Oh my goodness! Ah, uh, yeah. What would you do in that case? Actually, um, ask the cleaners to replace him. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Well, the answers <laughs> are not really good. Uh, Jenny. Uh, I guess you want to go for number five. I lent a friend my sunglasses. And now there are scratches on on the lens. lens. On the lenses. Yeah, this one. There are scratches over there. There are things. And what would you do, Jenny, in that case? Ask him to replace them. Ask him to replace it, yeah, definitely. Uh, someone else. Uh, uh, I think... Uh, Me, teacher. Uh, okay, uh, go ahead, please. I bought a nice aquarium a couple of weeks ago, but now it's leaking. Then now it's leaking? Yes, uh, I think. Good, yeah. What will be, Carla? Uh, it could be. It could be when the water from, from the aquarium is going out. It's beach. going. Uh, what would you do? Try to fix it, uh, the leak, or, or take it? Uh, take it back to the store. Uh, 
Oh, I take him back to this storm. Yeah, definitely. That would be the best thing to do, I guess. Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, uh, let's see. Uh, Romeo, uh, the, on the grammar, describing problems, uh, what would be the objective? The learning okay. objective. Learning objective, describe problems with past participle, as adjective, and with nouns. Uh, with the nouns. Okay, good. So describe uh, past, uh, I don't know what's happened over here. Let me see if I can. Um, well, uh, I'll check tomorrow um, the, 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 the audio. Okay. Teacher, because... just for advice, uh, try to verify in the shared screen, there will be an option. Try to click over that and you will be able to find an option that says, it's a little chart. That uh, you will be able to find it that says, uh, shared audio. Uh, share audio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, we double check. On the on the same screen. Yep. Try to to share the screen, and after that, you will be able to find uh, a uh, basic, advanced, or, um, a board, and in the kernel, in the left kernel, you will find the chart. Uh, share audio. A more. A more... First, I will click and share the screen. The, the pausa, grabación, de tener grabación, no. Uh, I can. Uh, well, I cannot. I cannot see it. Um, thank you very much for uh, your help. I think it Cuando was. Cuando le da clic a compartir pantalla, le va a aparecer el cuadrito y justamente a mano izquierda va a aparecer un cuadrito pequeñito que dice compartir audio. Eh, compartir audio. Mm -hmm. Es en pequeñito. Cuando selecciona la pantalla que va a compartir, abajito aparece. Está compartiendo la pantalla. No, it doesn't, it doesn't appear, or at least I don't see it. Uh, well, this is uh, only reading. The, the, the person over there is only reading. Okay, so describing problems. So we are going to describe problems with past participles. What are past participle? Uh, first forms, uh, uh, verb one, verb two, or verb three? Verb? Three. Three. Verb three. Thank you. Verb three. Verb That's four. the past participle. For example, the past participle, very common verbs. It? Eating. Eating. Uh, the past participle of dry? Dry. Driving. Driving. Driven. 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 Okay, driven. Okay, so you understand that it's verb three. That's that's very good. Okay, so in this case, uh, uh, Francisco, number one. Read the first sentence. With it, past participle adage. Read the first sentences. Yes, the jacket lining storm. Uh, Carla, number two. Oh, Carlos. Uh -huh. uh, Julio, uh, read uh, the second the second line. The table uh, the tabletop is damaged. Uh, Romeo, the next one. That base is cheap. The base is cheap. Okay, uh, Sarah, the next one. My pants are stained. Yeah, okay, the, uh, the pants are stained. Uh, thank you very much. And then it was uh, Eduardo, uh, Jose, Eduardo Jose, the next one. Okay, Neptali, Antonio? Yes, sure. I uh, have written it. Her, her sunglasses? Her sunglasses are a little scratch. A little scratch. Okay, and the last one is their new aquarium is leaking. Okay, there is an explanation for this one. Why why do we not use the third the the past participle of this verb? Because it's only take the ing form, not the uh, uh, not the uh, third um, verb form. 
And with nouns that we have, uh, the nouns we have, please, who, who wants to read the first sentence? Mixture. Mm -hmm. It has a tear in it. There is a hole in it. Uh -huh. The next one, who wants to read it? Me. Okay. There is some damage on the top. Okay, and uh, Miss, you say me? The third one, there is a chip in it. Good, a chip in it, a chip in it. Okay, and uh, the other one? Yes, Julio? They they have a stain of, on them. On them, uh-huh. And the next one? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. There are a few scratches on them. On the And the last one is me. It has a leak in it. Okay, what do you think? What do we use? How do we use this one? The first, uh, we had the verb, past participle, and a noun. And a noun, remember that when we use a or an, it means one. It means a, a, a noun. So, for example, tier, the past participle of tier. Mm -hmm. uh, and the past part, and the noun. Tier. And, and the verb is damage. The past participle. Damage. And, and a noun. Some damage. Some damage. A uh, chip. Uh -huh. The past participle? Chip. Uh, chip. Chip it. Uh, chip it. And a noun? A chip. A chip. A chip. Okay, so I guess I have something over here that we're going to finish with that. Okay, but you already mentioned over that. Past participle as an adjective. What is an adjective? Uh, damage, scratch it, torn, chip it, linking. These are adjectives that describe the situation of the purse in this case. For example, the purse is damaged. The t-shirt is stained. How is it? So stained, uh, I mean, um, it, stained, it is describing the t-shirt that something is wrong with this thing, like the same with the purse. Uh, the car is uh, scratched. Someone go in and uh, scratch the car in a good the pants are torn, the play is chipped, and the tag is leaking. Remember that uh, this case, uh, leaking is, is an exception. Uh, we use it, the ing. And uh, I guess this, well, we have it. And the nouns. Uh, who, can read, uh, who can read the nouns? Just one person. Please. Me, teacher. Romeo. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, there is some damage on the leather. Mm -hmm. uh, the t-shirt has a stain on it. There is a scratch on it. They have a tear in, te in them. Mm -hmm. There is a chip on the plate. Yeah. Okay, it notice over there that these are nouns, the same examples and that we have before. On if you look at this stain, so these are nouns. Basically, basically, this is another uh, resource that I found it, but basically are the same one, the same examples, the same thing. So when you say there is a scratch on, it, oh, by the way, you can you can use there is or there are, okay. So we have the subject, uh, the noun, and the object. We have the subject, the t-shirt, the noun, and the object, okay? So the noun is, a, that's basically the grammar rules of this one. Uh, it's almost, let me see. It's almost time, right? I don't know if I'm, a, okay. So maybe we can do something else over here. Okay, oops. <laughs> okay, you have an exercise on the manual over there. Uh, this is basically what, what you're going to do. 
uh, you have a, a you have these exercises on the look at the exercises over there. You have the verb or the noun uh, in parentheses. What would be number one? The tablecloth isn't very clean. He says, read the corner restaurant write sentences in two different ways using four of the or in the parentheses, then compare with a part. It's a stain. It's a stain. Yes, that's one. Okay. So past participle. Okay. Oh, one important thing that I forgot over there, and sorry about my that when uh, past participle as an adjective, we use the past participle of the main verb, but also we use the form of the verb to be. That means is or are. Remember that the verb to be, it has three forms in the simple form. And the simple form, what are they? And, um, is, and are. is and are, exactly. So in this case, past participle is an adjective. We use we use uh, we use uh, uh, the verb to be the form of the verb to be. Okay, so let me uh, and uh, real quickly let me uh, uh, pass the list over there. And, um, okay, Ana Ivania, say present, please present. Ana Ivania. Eh, Daniel Alejandra. Alejandro. Sure. Okay. Eh, say, say present, please, guys, because I'm checking. Eh, Edgar okay. Fernando. Edgar Fernando. Portillo. Eh, Eduardo Jose, please guys say present. Francisco Antonio. Present teacher. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Eh, Gabriel Jose. Gabriel Jose. Present teacher. Eh, Giovanni Stanley. I'm here, present teacher. Okay, good. Thank you. Hector Ivan. Present teacher. Uh, Hector Ivan. Ivan Abraham, I guess. Ibrahim. Ibrahim. Ah, Ibrahim. Okay. Ivan Ibrahim. Okay. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Janet, Carolina. Present teacher. Good. Uh, Jorge Anton, Alberto. Present teacher. Good. Uh, Jose Lino, I guess. Jose Lino Alvarenga, present teacher. Okay, thank you. Julio Cesar uh, Campos. Present teacher. Uh, Carla... Celina Hernández. Present teacher. Good. Uh, Carla. Uh, Carla René Delgado. Present teacher. Eh, Catherine Lisbeth. Present teacher. Good. Eh, Luis Eduardo. Present teacher. Eh, Marlene Elizabeth. Present teacher. Good. Eh, Melissa Stephanie. Present teacher. Eh, Michelle Beatriz. Eh, Oscar. Uh, 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 Michelle Pres Beatriz. Okay. Present um, teacher. And. Uh, Oscar, Oscar. A ver, a ver, a ver, a ver. Ah, Michelle Beatriz. Oscar. Okay. Oscar Julio. Present. Ah, ah, Net Neptali Antonio. Present teacher. 
Eh, Oscar, present, ¿verdad? Re yeah. Rebe Rebeca, Mar Rebeca María. Rebeca María. Romeo Vladimir. Present, teacher. Sara Elisa. Present. Thank you. Wendy, Sofía Elizabeth. Sofía, Wendy Paola, Xiomara Violeta, present, thank you, Jenny Carolina, present teacher, and Oscar Obtulio, present, okay, present. Okay, thank you Teacher, very much. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, by the way, Oscar Alexander Santana, um, it's saying that uh, you didn't take care of him, but he was in the class. Oscar Alexander Santana. Yes, I, yes. I, I, I checked in that he was in. Oh, wonderful. Okay, okay. So thank you very much, guys. I'll see you tomorrow at the same time. Uh, thank you, Giovanni. Uh, good night to everybody, and I'll see you here tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you.